Hey guys, it's Animus here. Welcome to Corner Tanking 101. I will explain to you what the basics are and also how to pull it off on live encounters. I will be using footage from my past Mythic Plus runs. There are four important parts of corner tanking. Gift of the Ox, Obstinate Determination, 35% HP and a wall. First, let me explain what Obstinate Determination is. It's a skill in our artifact weapon that procs a Gift of the Ox orb when we fall below 35% HP. It's a 100% proc chance. The idea behind corner tanking is to float around 35% HP. Once you fall below the 35% threshold, you proc Obstinate Determination to get you back above the threshold. And then let yourself drop again below it for the next heal proc. So basically something like this. 35% HP the proc resulting in a heal and then back to 35% HP and in that way go in a circle. The wall or corner doesn't necessarily have to be there but it makes it a lot easier seeing the gift of the ox proc spawns right on top of you granting you the HP immediately. The first health orb always spawns your right so the easy tactic here is having a wall or obstacle to your right at all times when you corner tank. Now, I feel like I have to warn you, this can turn very ugly very fast if you're for example inexperienced, running with an unknown healer, or simply get hit for more than you can self-heal. You're floating at relatively low HP and one miscalculated dark slash might end you. But with high risks comes high rewards. You can help your healer a lot by self-sustaining, allowing healer to go for example full DPS. This is something we tend to go with when we run with an offensive healer like a Holy Paladin or a Disc Priest or even for those 4 DPS setups. With this tactic it's also good to save cooldowns like Fort Brew or a simple HP pot in case you can't reach the threshold and your healer is busy. But enough talk, let me show you how this works in game on live servers. <laughs> As you guys can see, I position myself so I have a wall to my right. I know it takes a while for me to actually drop to 35%, but once I drop to 35%, you will see the self healing. There was the first one, second one, third one, and so forth. I don't have to press any extra buttons, they spawn right on top of me. Now you've seen the basics in a closed and controlled environment. Let's talk about real encounters. Most dungeon encounters have some sort of wall next to them, be it trash or bosses. Here is a clip from Nell's Lair, plus 18, on live servers, where we use this tactic to our favor. Sorry about that pulling. Espe especially dangerous bo boss enemy. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, we already... Oh, Ripple, there's a Bloodlust as well. Oh, good. Perfect. Actually, maybe it was stupid to do Bloodlust and pull. Oh, whatever. Don't worry about the odds, by the way. the bus. Oh, yeah, true. We have a Shadow Priest. Goddamn Shadow Priest, they we. Maybe use that one there. I said. I on Shadow. They first it down for us, but I'll leave it on the phone. Wow, that was a joke. Can't we live together? Yeah, we can. Can we? Oh, dude, that would be awesome. Yep. Awesome. I can't get the three well, of us will live you together. Pay for me, though? Yep. Wait, what no, did the North ask? The North, what did you ask? Will no, you pay for me if I live yeah, with you? Exactly. Yeah. 
Damn, woman. You think I'm he's some kind of sugar daddy? You think he's I'm some kind of fucking sugar daddy? Sugar. What the fuck? <laughs> Uh, there's a skitter in front of me. Ah, uh, it's it's it anyway. So this feels like a plus well. Yeah, it really does. I have an add on me. I don't know. I'll come. Oh. By the way, Ermore, did you hear? Hear about the person who called me a failed brewmaster because I was corner what? tanking? Yes! Oh, that was the best. Yeah. What the that fuck? was literally the best. Yeah. Any is what a failable brewmaster because he's like, not a monkey. I, I went after my stream uh, at like 5am. Yeah. I went to Kegronaut's stream. You know, I usually go there and I'd chill out. Yeah. Uh, and then there was this one dude who said that it's impossible for brewmasters to self-sustain. And I was like, okay, what about corner tanking? And he goes like, if you corner tank, you're already failed at brewmaster tanking. Yeah. What? what? Yeah, <laughs> and basically, <laughs> I, was the best I, thing. I, I told him that a brewmaster can pull off uh, 400k effective healing per second, and he said that it's literally impossible. You know how much I love the word impossible. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? And I know I pulled Weird. it off in Black Rook Hold uh, against those uh, fire breathers. There, I actually pulled off over almost 500k healing per second. Um, yeah. And like at the moment I have 300k healing per second and this is one boss that's hitting me. Like exactly. it's 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 easy to pull off 400k as long as you have the right mobs. Yeah. But apparently I'm a failed brewmaster, man. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, oh, we're doing God. a plus 18 right now. You're yeah. totally a failed brewmaster. Okay, so in the video I had 300k healing per second. Airmore, my healer. He didn't go really full DPS when I had those high numbers. Instead, he rather healed the team. Of course, my healing was a combination of corner tanking and Celestial Fortune, aka our crit rating. And now you're probably wondering, what about fights that there aren't any walls? Well, here you can actually strafe right just as you hit the 35% threshold. You sort of instantly pick up the orb, meaning that this tactic actually works even without the wall or the corner. Here is a short video about Nels Lair again, a bit lower difficulty this time, in a very derpy run, uh, but on a boss fight where a wall wasn't really there to be used. Yeah, I, I'm, fo I'm uh, following it too at the same time, but it's kinda hard. I, I think it's it. that one. I, I think it's this one. <laughs> Are you serious, guys? I'm gonna take the one Soraka is on. I was following two of them, so that does not mean... Good. I was following this one and the one fireman is on. Oh yeah, fuck any crap. Didn't see it. Come across him! Come across him! <laughs> Good job, Soraka. Good job. I told you I was following two of them. This was the second one, so let's go. It's this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's time. Oh, it's starting to fall so fast. Oh, I'm gonna rip. <laughs> it, was, it was not that one as well, fuck. Oh man, look at this team. This team really doesn't know anything. <laughs> you know, what the fuck, it's raining rocks, come on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's, let's Dude, do I'm, I'm not gonna wipe this. <laughs> oh shit, there we go, thank you. That's interesting to see it rain rocks, I never saw it before. Oh man. <laughs> see him running around that thing. That's so stupid. <laughs> oh, you should upload this, man. Hey, Epic this, feels. This is a, this is a valid, valid tactics. This is so valid tactics, man. <laughs> oh, this, this will take years. Like, fucking years, man. I can do it. Do you no, no, it's, it's not about if I can do it. It's just like, can I be ours to do it? <laughs> yeah, you can. Then we can upload to you the plus 12. I... What's the name of the boss? One... <laughs> Ultra Rog, Grass Shaper. So, chat, how are you today? Hello? Like, this, this is gonna take ages, so. How are you guys? <laughs> oh, dude, I actually fail. I actually freaking fail. Yeah, I won't make it. I won't make it. I won't make it. Except if I can DPS it and it's the right one. Nope. Man. <laughs> you Man. Can't even 1v1 the fucking rock. 
<laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Alright, sure. This was a wipe. We had tons of fun. It was a derp run. But here you can see how the orb spawn location actually works. It always spawns to your right. The first orb always to your right. So that just means that I can run in a circle to my right and I pick them up quite instantly. Now that you've seen the simplified version on how this works, I recommend you to go out there, grab a healer friend together with a group who don't really mind wiping due to the tank dying, just to try out this tactic. This will most likely require a bit of training to get used to it, but it's so rewarding. But yeah, that's all I have to say about corner tanking 101. Thanks for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. I really hope this has helped you in any way. And drop a like if this has helped you at all. We think we're taking Brewmaster to a new level. And also drop a comment down below to let me know how high or what mythic pluses or what else content you have used this tactic on. You can also discuss the negative sides about this tactic in the comments below as long as we keep it civil. Cheers for watching guys. I hope to see you on the stream twitch.tv slash or in the YouTube comment section down below.